Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information video. Yes guys, I am finally home. I am back from E3. I had an absolute blast actually going there and physically attending it in person, especially because of the fact that this year's E3 was just absolutely phenomenal. Not just specifically looking towards Kingdom Hearts 3, but just really everything else that happened. Of course, I also got to hang out with my dudes, the Key Keepers, and on top of that also made so many of you guys. However though, I am now home and it is time to get six feet deep into all of the juiciness that came out of E3 towards Kingdom Hearts 3. Tetsuya Nomura really wasn't lying when he mentioned last month that basically there is going to be just so much stuff to do with the game that is going to release throughout the month of June. Like, we are literally drowning in Kingdom Hearts goodness, lads. Also, my voice is slowly coming right, but it still does sound a little bit torn, so I do apologize if I'm sounding like a monkey that has been awake for the past two and a half weeks. Although for the first video I thought I would actually talk about one of the most important things that came out to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 during this time and that is of course the release date. Yes we now finally know when Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be in our beautiful little hands. Although the release date took a lot of people by surprise because of course Kingdom Hearts 3 is not going to be releasing in 2018 as it has been slated since last year. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be releasing on January 29th 2019 and when looking towards the Japanese version of the game it will be releasing on January 25th. Now I know this personally took me by surprise because I have been saying for pretty much the extent of this whole entire year that from what Square Enix have been talking about it seems to be that Kingdom Hearts 3 is certainly on track to release in 2018 and when looking towards the release date side of things Square Enix have constantly been reiterating the fact that Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 3 is still on track to release in 2018. I think the first assumption was the fact that there might be some kind of development issue going on. I think that's really what hits people's heads as soon as they see a game being delayed. There is a pushback, that kind of means that there's got to be something going on with the development side of things. However though, Tetsuya Nomura was actually interviewed by IGN during E3 and within this interview they actually got onto the topic of the whole delay thing. Now the reason behind the delay is interesting because it doesn't actually come down to a development issue. So I think that's a really good start. Kingdom Hearts 3's development is apparently going extremely smoothly. According to Tetsuya Nomura, there are no current development issues. So don't worry guys, our game is not in development hell or anything of the such. More so, the reason behind Kingdom Hearts 3's delay is that it comes down to a situation of making sure that the localized English version releases as close to the Japanese version as possible. It would seem to be that prior to this delay, the gap between the Japanese version and the English version was going to be something pretty hefty. And as we've seen in the past with Kingdom Hearts games, there generally is always a pretty big gap when looking towards the Japanese version and the English version. For many years now, we've been crossing our fingers that Kingdom Hearts 3 will get a simultaneous worldwide release, and unfortunately, this is not the case. Still, even with the delay, there is a four day gap between the Japanese and English version, which I know as of right now has a lot of people pretty damn triggered. However, though, before we get any further into this subject, let's actually look at the news in itself. So this is what Tetsuya Nomura said when speaking with IGN. The timing of release that we were actually looking at, we were told by many people, including hardware manufacturers, marketing teams, sales teams, that it just wasn't a good timing in the year. For Kingdom Hearts 3, the Square Enix Western offices had requested to release the game as simultaneously as much as possible between Japan and America, so we were no longer able to just think about Japanese issues and retail situations. We of course considered maybe speeding up development to release earlier than when we were told that wasn't good, but the development team said that no, we just couldn't do that. We could delay it, but we couldn't make it any sooner. So as you guys can see, this doesn't come down to a development issue, which I have to reiterate is just such a good thing. I think that's the last thing we want to hear at the end of the day that Kingdom Hearts 3 is, you know, getting closer to release, but hold up, Square Enix are actually having development problems. This is just simply not the case, and I'm so happy to read that. I gotta say that this is major respect to Square Enix, because from the seams of it, the initial
official release would have had a much, much bigger gap between the two versions, and with the delay, it means that we get a much smaller gap between. Yes, of course, we still have a four day difference between the two versions, which to this point, I really can't understand. The idea behind the delay is to make sure to push the localized English version as close as possible to the launch of the Japanese version. But of course, if that was the aim and the idea behind the delay, then why not just simply make the game a simultaneous worldwide release? Like Tetsuya Nomura said, the retail situations are completely different for many different countries around the world. Then again though, it wouldn't be totally impossible to figure out a situation where basically the whole retail thing coincides with every single country around the world to of course ensure that the game does have a simultaneous worldwide release. It works with Final Fantasy 15, so there really isn't any reason why it wouldn't work with Kingdom Hearts 3. At the end of the day though, I gotta say that I don't really mind too much. It's not like Kingdom Hearts 3 is releasing halfway through 2019. We essentially are having to wait, what, like an extra two months? We can probably assume that the game was most likely going to release in November of this year or maybe December. So at max, we're having to wait, yeah, an additional month to two months. And on top of that, even though the delay doesn't come down to a development issue, this still means that Square Enix have extended time to fine polish Kingdom Hearts 3 to make it the best possible version of the game. Keep in mind that, you know, we've been waiting a very, very long time for Kingdom Hearts 3. And the more time that Square Enix spend working on this game, the better the final product will be. So am I mad or triggered or tilted about this? No, absolutely not. It means Square Enix get a little bit more time to fine polish the game and it also means that we get a closer release to that of the Japanese version. Just picture this, if the delay didn't happen it's likely that we might have actually had to have waited about a month between both versions and I know full well that the community wouldn't like that in the slightest. Yes there is a four day gap between the two versions and I do understand that for that four day period a lot of us are going to have to keep off the internet to avoid any potential spoilers that will come through. How However guys, that is all for today's news and information. I thought I would talk about this subject first out of all of the videos that will be coming, mainly because the release date thing is extremely important. We now know when the game is coming out, which is a very, very beautiful thing. I gotta say that I wasn't expecting a delay at all, but this reason right here certainly makes sense. So in the comment section down below, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions towards this. I'd love to know how you guys are feeling towards this situation, now that we actually know the reason behind the delay in itself. However guys, I've been cynical. Hopefully you dudes are having a fantastic day and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit them on the page, you'll be coming through stunts. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Look, crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back playing Super Nintendo.